I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Hi, Josh Santos here to bring you your DHS news. I'm going to keep it short today. There will be a volleyball game versus Grapevine for the varsity at 5 p.m. and for the freshman and JV at 6.30. Varsity football will also be having a game at Mineral Wells at 7.30. In other news, tomorrow there will be a UIL marching contest in Denton and a PSAT given at 8 a.m. in the DHS lecture hall. So don't miss that if you've signed up already. Now for another exciting teacher feature by Mr. Russell. And All right, Eagles, once again, we're wanting to prepare for college, and uh, we want to meet a new teacher, uh, Coach Lang, and find out about his story, what college was like for him, what obstacles he had, how he overcome those obstacles. And I'm going to pay attention this time, <laughs> unlike uh, Miss Jolly's interview. I didn't really pay attention to her, so... With Coach Lang, I'm going to pay attention. So, Coach, what do you teach? You better all be paying attention. <laughs> Every one of you watching. I got my, got my on you. I teach Algebra 2, and I teach Algebra 1 Lab, and uh, a little bit of football and, and powerlifting on the side. So, All right, That's Coach. Well, uh, did you always want to go to college? I always wanted to go to college. I knew that... Uh, I had a lot of friends that that was just our, we knew we were going to go. I thought I was going to be a big time football player. Uh, and with my physique, I know it's going to shock some of you that I, I was not a big time football player. But uh, I knew I was going to go to school. I, I knew it. Well, now, uh, what was your obstacle in getting your college degree? How'd you overcome that? I, I would say, being a math major, uh, my biggest obstacle was the actual uh, the process of being in a high school, going to high school, and having a lot of teacher support and having tutorial support. And going to college and that support system was not there my in fact my last semester of undergrad I had 12 hours of uh, math classes which equates to four math classes and it was a deal where um, I had to overcome some challenges in there of not knowing the material very well and it's not that my professors wouldn't help me it's that I had to be able to learn that on my own and take kind of ownership of my own uh, and even it took me three years of college to figure that out, but I had to make it my own and go study wh whether it was in, we didn't have the, the Googles and the, and all that stuff, the, the access that the Decatur High School has on with the one-to-one -one deal. So it, it was a challenge for me to try to learn that stuff, but it was also very rewarding when I, when I succeeded and, of course, moved on and, and uh, got to better things in life. So. Awesome. Well, ownership is good. Ownership. I don't. I'm still working on it. Not we're, yeah, we're lucky to have you here. Thank Thanks, you very Coach. Much. I appreciate it. And where did you go? I went to. Uh, some of y'all have heard it called the Harvard of the West. It's actually just called Hardin Simmons University in Abilene. So I don't know. I don't know which one you've heard it as, but one of the two. Wow, I'm glad you got in there. Yeah, me too. It was tough. Let me tell you that that uh, that education, that high school education, was got me there. So appreciate awesome. your time. Thank y'all. Thanks, Coach. Yeah, you bet. Why is it when I film, that's the I one you forget. Every time. Every, every time a kid does it, it, it goes like this. And, oh, then, right. and then, no, it's not. I, I get nervous. Let's set it in front of Coach Park. Well, that's all for the news today. Have a great day, and ich bin ein Berliner.